Hi everyone, welcome to today's class. So today we are going to discuss about the real time questions in interview. Okay, so apart from that, we will be discussing one more scenario that is a surprise for you. So just stay tuned in the video, stay till the last, you will be getting one surprise and that will be most helpful for you, I believe. Okay, so be in the video, we'll be covering all the sessions okay uh, sorry covering all the sections of it okay so basically most of the people you have was asked like what are the real time questions may be asked in the interview sessions okay in the interview what are the real time related questions may get asked okay so we have already have the mock interview sessions you can go through that we have i believe we have covered some parts of the real time questions over that but uh, still for your reference i am just um, mentioning some of the questions so let's start okay so the first part will be so the first part will be implementation project okay related to implementation project what kind of questions you might get asked so first thing they can ask you in the implementation project have you worked in a e2e implementation or end-to-end -end implementation okay so what is meant by end-to-end -end implementation end-to-end -end implementation means from the starting to the end so whatever phases are there you must be there from the starting to the end okay in that phase maybe you can exclude the project preparation phase okay so whatever project preparation phase is there so you can exclude that one because basically those ex um, those project preparation phase or preparation phase is mostly handled by the superior people or senior people or manager kind of people those are handled by them okay if you don't know what is the implementation project you can go to the class okay i will provide the link in the info button so you can click on the info button and you can go to the SAP implementation method that is currently S4 HANA for the S4 HANA implementation the activate methodology is going on so you can just go through that class and understand what are the implementation projects are there what are the steps are there what are the uh, different kind of activities are there you can just understand from there okay so first question you might be get asked about the implementation project so it is uh, your work you can how you can explain that scenario okay M many times we have already explained it you can go to the video and you can understand what are the steps where you feel that you can start or where you feel that you have a role to play okay so just go to the video and check whatever things are there note down some of the point what are the points are there what are the activities are there which activities are related to whom so recently we have conducted one class for the rise with s4 hana activate methodology in that also we have uh, like explain all the scenarios which is related to which team or which um, uh, let's say uh, which person or which category of person which uh, let's say hierarchy of the employees or hierarchy of the consultants are um, related to that work we have already explained just go to that video and check okay still if you are having any doubts you can ask okay so it is what your work to find the answers it is not i'm not giving you any answers or anything i'm just giving you one basic overview so you can get the answers from the video video is already available course like uh, the overview is already available you can get all the details all the needed information from that video itself you can get the information okay so next thing maybe they will be asking what is or what was your role in the implementation project so you can answer whatever things you have done okay so let's say you can explain the what was what was your position let's say you are working as a consultant junior consultant associate consultant you can mention that apart from that or along with that you can explain what are the activities you have done okay that you can uh, mention as a roles okay then uh, they might ask you have you done the baseline configuration or based on your uh, like what was your role explanation how you have explained like um, whatever activities you have mentioned I have done this configuration I have done that configuration let's say you 
mention i have done the baseline configuration you mentioned that i have uh, configured the p2p cycle or i have configured the let's say release procedure or pricing procedure as per your roles and responsibility explanation in that project they might ask you some other questions let's say what kind of activity you have done in the uh, release procedure what kind of things you have done uh, where you have find the data where you have taken the reference so those kind of things you need to answer okay so what is a baseline configuration it is nothing but let's say we need to map the organization structure that is basically called the baseline struct baseline configuration if it is a sap mm then basically we call it as a organization structure if it is in a wm or ewm we can call it as a let's say a baseline configuration means there we can configure the uh, let's say warehouse we can configure the storage section we can configure the storage type we can configure the storage pin so these are basically called the baseline configuration in the mm you can say um, we have created the plants we have created the purchasing organization we have assigned them and uh, we have created the storage locations these are basically called the baseline configuration okay maybe if you are going to work in a implementation project someone might say you just do the baseline configuration or someone might ask you what is the baseline configuration so that needs to be you need to understand what is a baseline configuration okay so next one they might ask you have you worked on any kind of enhancement or RISEF concept okay so RISEF we have already a video on the RISEF concept we have already a video on the enhancement also so you can go through that everything is available in the channel okay everything is available in the channel whatever thing you need to uh, let's say learn for SAP MM everything is available let it be subjective wise let it be real time wise let it be your interview wise everything is available you just have to go through and you have to find and surf through the channel you have to find whatever things are there okay just go through that and prepare yourself okay right now you know as I have spoken on the live session that there is right now you will not find much opportunities because due to this uh, let's say holiday sessions you will be not getting any calls or any um, uh, let's say interviews in coming 15 days like uh, let's say till January 20 25th or January 15 till that one you will not get any chances so best time to prepare yourself okay prepare on this topic so once you are getting a call once you are getting an interview schedule or interview session so you are just ready to um, uh, let's say um, re ready to clear it okay so you can uh, you should be ready to clear it in first attempt you should be ready to clear it because uh, let's say if you have all the knowledge then anything they are asking in the interview mostly they, these things they will be asking you in the interview okay so be prepared on that one apart from that one they might ask you some uh, let's say scenario based question they might ask you some um, uh, let's say uh, some activity based question they might ask you but basically they will ask you on these type of questions okay so enhancement or rise if you can say if it is okay then you can say yes i have worked on the enhancement you can say i have worked on the rise if concept based on that they will be asking you for further more questions okay they might ask you further more question let's say how did you written the fs how did you manage to um, deliver that fs to the technical people how they have managed the ts or uh, what was your next activity they might ask you different different question on the enhancement so be prepared on that enhancement part also enhance or enhancement is a part of your ricep concept so ricep is a total gap let's say we call it as a fit gap analysis so it is a part of fit gap analysis so you can just um, let's say understand those concept and try to learn those things okay so next one is they might ask you have you worked on the interface have you developed an interface or anything related to interface they might ask you interface four years experience normally people don't ask but right now as you all aware of there is a heavy supply 
let's say for one job opening there are 10 or I can say 100 people are chasing for one job for one position 100 people are chasing so that's why interviews are getting tough you should be prepared for the tougher interview or toughest interview you should prepare on that one don't complain that I am having only four years or I am having only three years how I can know this one try to understand this try to know this one basic principle let's say if you say this kind of question let someone asking you have you worked on the interface maybe you can say though I have not worked in the interface but I know the basic concept of interface okay whatever things are there I have a basic knowledge about it if they are further asking you I believe they will not ask you further but if they are asking you further you can just explain about the IDOCs and whatever things are there how the things are getting um, communicated between the systems you can just mention those things okay interface you can also explain what is the interface what is the IDOC how the data is moving from one system to another system just have an idea having an idea having a knowledge is not a problem but working it's okay if you don't have an uh, let's say opportunity to work on the interface it's okay but you have you need to have the knowledge okay if you are having a knowledge then you are better than the other candidates who are competing with you then definitely it will be a chance for you to get a job on that one okay so next one is have you worked on cutover okay what is a cutover activity it is already explained in the implementation project what is a cutover activity if you are saying yes then you need to know what is a cutover activities there might be some questions related to your cutover activities will be there how you can move the let's say TR from one system to another system or how you are moving the data from one system to another system let's say they might ask you I, I need to uh, transfer the open transaction let's say open purchase order I need to transfer what is the basic requirement before I should start the transferring of purchase order so you need to know those kind of things what are the things are there what is the dependent entries are there okay so what are the dependent entries are there how the open transaction are getting moved what is the basic requirement before moving that <clears throat> open transaction so you need to know all these things next thing might be they ask you what was your activity during the go live okay during the go live phase or during the go live time what was your work or what you are doing you need to know what is a go live what is the activity what you need to do in the, uh, at the time of go live activity okay last question might be they will ask you what is your team size based on your answers let's say you are answering all of these things let's say you are saying that I have configured the pricing procedure I have configured the release strategy I have configured the output determination I have uh, worked on the P2P cycle if you are saying you have done everything you have done everything then they might ask you what was your team size okay if you have worked on everything then maybe your team size is a two members team size right don't take it seriously this is a joke okay so team size you need to understand what is a team size I believe team size is already explained in some of the videos okay so based on the team size you need to limit your work you need to limit your activities whatever activities are there in the implementation project you need to be very choose uh, choosy or you need to be very careful while explaining whatever activities you have done in the implementation project okay if they are asking about you this process or any other process let's say they are asking you about interface have you not having the interface okay you can say that other members or senior members were working on the interface though I was a, a fresher so I didn't get much chance to work in the interface or didn't get a chance to work in the interface maybe you can answer like that one let's say any kind of enhancement or any kind of rise up you can mention the same though I have not worked in the enhancement I have a basic knowledge I know how to write IFS I know don't explain it much but you can mention okay I'm I'm just helping my senior in the documentation anything you can mention but never say no I have not done these things or anything just don't say that no okay with a no you should have an explanation with a no you should have a valid reason behind that okay so this might be some questions regarding your implementation project basically these are the questions you might get in the implementation project next 
you might get some question related to support project if you are mentioning in your resume that you have worked in the support project so there might be some questions related to support project okay so the first and foremost question in the support project is the roles and responsibility they might ask you in different different ways let's say they might ask you what was your roles and responsibility in the project they might ask you what is your nine to five jobs or they might say what was your yesterday's activity or what was your last week's activity they might say any kind of uh, words but it means the same what was your roles and responsibility for this one also we have the video in the channel so just surf over their real time act a real time playlist okay in the real time playlist you will be finding all of these classes all of these things you will be finding over there okay i'm just giving you the question prepare well on it okay if you are willing to get a job prepare well be better from the other candidates be better from the other student if your knowledge is proper your knowledge is more than the other candidates it is your chance to get the job okay so be prepared for everything if you prepare 100% it is a hundred percent chance that you are getting a job okay so don't complain about anything just be um, let's say suitable for the people for the HR for the project manager for the company be suitable for all don't complain about anything so this is the first question roles and responsibility second thing they might ask you what are the major challenges you have faced in the support project this may be anything if they are asking you like that's what that one there might be anything you can say as a major challenges let's say you can say uh, connecting to the user is a major challenge communicating with the user is a major challenge or getting the data or getting the relevant information from the user was a challenge or let's say any kind of um, communicating between the teams was a challenge okay the teams means let's say you are in mm team someone in, is in the sd team someone is in the uh, wm team or someone is in the basis team or someone is in the security team so it was a challenge between communicating between them okay you can answer anything okay anything may be a challenge but don't mention any kind of silly reason so um, i was not getting a enough um, let's say broadband connection i was not having the network don't give these kind of issues so mention some of the issues which is related to the project and these are the common and these are the i, I can say these are the real challenges in the project major challenges are these are the some of the major challenges which you face okay you which you actually face if you are going to work in a support project these are the major challenges you will be facing okay uh, next uh, they can ask you what are the issues you have resolved so you have to find some support tickets okay support ticket means when i say about the support ticket support tickets are not related to the configuration error some people or most of the people they answer in the interview like there were there was some obyc settings was missing there was some purchase organization was not assigned these kind of issues or errors will not come in the support project because you need to understand what is a support project support project will start after the implementation whatever configuration needs to be there it will be handled by the implementation team they will be give giving you or giving the support team the sap with all configuration all needed configuration over there okay it's fine if it is a new configuration that is getting developed for system enhancement or system betterment it is fine but never say if anyone is asking you about the issues never tell that there is a configuration issue issue will be related to your system error will be related to your user error it might be related to your some kind of other issues but it will be related to the uh, let's say your transaction is not getting successful or there is any issues are there real issues are there not related to the configuration issue maybe in some time we will be discussing one to two common issues what one to two uh, issues which you might face in the mm side or wm side we will be discussing that okay in coming classes or sometimes we will be discussing that please mention in the comments if you need that class okay and please do like this video if you really need a support project ticket okay so 
that is one question you might get so next question they might ask you what type of issues you have handled okay type of issues means you have to answer based on the priority okay p1 p2 p3 p4 these are the category of the issues okay so these are the category of the issues based on the priority as a consultant you should know p1 p2 p3 p4 ticket or priority of the ticket don't answer in any time that l1 l2 l3 l4 or l1 l2 l3 don't answer in this way okay l1 ticket normally l1 is a team l2 is a team l3 is a team okay l1 team who is a l1 team let's say um you are working for uh, let's say you are working for TCS okay let's say you are working for TCS and your client is Tata Steel okay let's understand this scenario let's say Tata Steel is your client you are working in the company of TCS and there is a SAP is there okay who is selling the software or who is providing the software okay now when there is an issue will come let's say some minor minor issue will come let's say in the purchase order they are unable to do something or they are unable to create a user or they are unable to do something let's say simple simple issues that will be handled by whom there will be an internal team or help desk will be there in the tata steel who is your client they will be having a service desk or they will be having a help desk they will be helping the users in the minimalistic issues okay they are called the l1 team okay so they will be called as l1 team so l1 team it is the their help desk or their uh, i can say their service desk okay if some issues are not handled by them they can refer to the tcs who is the it team or who is the support team okay so they are basically the l2 team or they will be handling the l2 ticket which is little bit more uh, let's say complex than the l1 ticket l1 team okay or l1 issues then the third l3 will be become as sap will become the l3 team so if something is not possible by you to solve then you have to refer it to the sap team sap will resolve the ticket for you or sap will find a solution for you or they will be giving you a uh, let's say um, what we call it uh, KBN note okay so OSS note or KBN note they will be giving you a note to implement that one to resolve the issue maybe in some cases okay or if they have the issue um, I means if they know the issue how to resolve that they will be resolving it from their end okay so it is basically L1 L2 L3 concept okay don't go into that way never answer like L1 L2 L3, L3 these kind of things explain the tickets explain the type of issues or type of tickets based on their priority as a consultant you should work on the tickets based on their priority answer it on the basis of p1 p2 p3 p4 okay everything is explained in the videos in the ticket handling um, um, i believe it is ticket handling process one video was there is there so you can search on that one you can find all of the information related to ticket handling process okay so next question they might ask you what are the critical issues you have faced in the recent days similar kind of thing you can just mention some of the critical issues okay which you have faced recently so next question they might ask you have you worked on the cr process so cr process um, you all might have known so CR process is a change request process what is the CR process so you can go to the videos and you can find the answers so if you are saying about the CR process they might ask you some example what are the CR process you have handled or what type of CR process you are having in your client they might ask you these kind of questions right now some of the people they are also working about the agile process okay agile is not related to anything but agile is a process okay basically it is a let's say working procedure okay so maybe some people some people are using the agile procedure there some scrum master is there will be there they will be assigning some task to everyone and they need to complete those tasks so basically this is an overview or this is a just um, let's say concept of agile process so might be they will be asking you about the agile process if you don't know then it's fine if you know something about it or if you want to know something 
also you can find the agile process from the youtube or from google you can find the agile process just know the concept what are the concepts are there because some of the clients or some of the companies they are working on the agile principle so maybe they might ask you these questions okay and uh, furthermore now in the s4 hana we have already discussed in the rise methodology in that agile process is um, like it is combined with the activate methodology so that's why also uh, some people are asking about the agile process so it's better to know something okay so then next might be they will ask you have you worked on the s4 hana okay might be if you have mentioned everything in the ecc they might ask you so be prepared on that one if you are answering about the s4 hana they might ask you some questions related to s4 hana um next one uh, do you know basic debugging right now as i have mentioned this is debugging is not something that you should know in a 3 to 4 years of experience but right now due to this competition these questions are getting asked it is not wrong we, we cannot say that this is wrong but you need to know some basic debugging what is a basic debugging you need to know okay maybe in coming classes in some classes we will be having a session on how to do the basic debugging or what is a basic debugging so we we can understand those scenarios okay so next question you might get asked about the bad jobs okay so bad jobs if you are working in a um, support project definitely you should know what are the bad job what are the bad jobs related to your uh, let's say model you need to know these questions bad jobs or you need to know about the details so you need to also know what are the bad jobs are there they might ask you about some examples and they might ask you some question on the bad jobs also interface also they might ask you some questions on the interface okay so also interface have you uh, like worked on any issues with the interface so you can just explain those we are having a interface i believe one uh, uh, class is there related to idocs or related to interface i'm not sure you can just check if there will be idoc will be there uh, idoc handling process or interface handling pro uh, will be there so you can just check and you can go through that you can find whatever the interface related issues are there or how to find or how to work on the interface there is a complete overview on the interface process is there okay so these are some of the questions you might get asked related to real time in the interviews okay support project and implementation project so next i'm going to discuss something which will be very helpful for you if you are going for a revision or let's say you are going to revise in a quick time that will be helpful for you so you can prepare your notes based on that or you can prepare your sheet based on that and you can just overlook like that you can just overlook on that and you will be having a quick overview or quick revision on the topics okay so this i have mentioned in the live session but in the live session there was i don't know how to share the screen so that's why i was not able to share you that so let me just show you okay so how to revise quick so this is just an example i have given so let's say uh, you are going to revise about the p2p cycle okay p2p cycle how it will be asked in the interview or how you need to answer that okay so let's say they were asking or in your interview they are asking about the p2p process or p2p cycle what they will be asking you what is the p2p cycle explain it so what you need to explain you need to explain the process flow so what is the process flow basically pr rfq i have not included the other step you can just include rfq then quotation then uh, you can uh, quotation comparison then we can uh, take the PO okay or if the vendor is already available directly we can go to the PR to PO so this is basically the flow PR, RFQ, PO, GR and IR okay so in that process flow you have to include the um, accounting entries also okay where the accounting entries will happen accounting entries will happen in the gr time and at the ir time so at the gr time whenever you are doing the 101 moment type your bsx will be debited wrx will be credited at the ir time your wrx will be debited and kbs account or your vendor account will be credited okay so this is the process if you are explaining the p2p side if you are explaining the p2p sorry 
if you are explaining the p2p cycle in this way with the process flow with the accounting entries that will definitely give a better impact on the interviewer that you are having a good knowledge on the process flow along with the sap process okay so try to create a sheet on this or like this okay so you are going to um, learn or you are going to revise on the p2p cycle this is the process flow this is the moment type this is the accounting entries now configuration what are configuration are needed okay okay so anyone is saying um, anyone is asking you what are the uh, configuration you need to do about the p2p cycle so in the p2p cycle we mostly we will be configuring the document type right so document type for pr rfq po these kind of document type will be creating if any kind of uh, let's say g document type you are creating so you can create that one then you can link that one so PR document to RFQ document, RFQ document to PO document, you have to link it, interlink it. Next one is number ranges. So you have to define the number ranges for all PR, RFQ, PO, GR, IR for everything. You have to create a number range. Okay. Next, you might have to assign the item categories for the document type. Okay. These are the some of the basic settings. Okay. You can add some more settings to it or add some more configuration to it also. Okay, related to your IR or related to your GR, maybe you can add something. But this is a basic configuration. If you are mentioning like this to the interviewer, definitely they will not ask you any further question on this processes. Okay, they will get a good impression on you that you are having a good knowledge. Okay, second thing, you can make a, a note or you can make a sheet where you can write down like this okay same thing with other process let's say you are uh, going for any kind of let's say uh, next thing you can mention about the release procedure in the release procedure what are the things are there you need to create the characteristic you need to create the class you need to assign the class to the characteristic then you have to define the strategy in the strategy you have to define let's say release codes and uh, release strategy over there you have to mention okay release group release code those kind of things you have to mention so you can just prepare a short short note for the um, let's say revision okay so you don't have to go for everything for the p2p cycle or everything for the release procedure just make a short short note or make some pointers for it it will be very helpful for you for a quick revision for a quick time revision okay let's say i'm having a interview tomorrow morning by tonight also if i am having a job i will finish my job i will come back by 9 9 30 i can come back by that and after that in half an hour or in one hour also i can revise all of the topics right so prepare your notes like this and revise it okay if you have not done it yet try to do it now okay so basically this will be the things and if you are preparing for let's say if you are going to prepare for the um uh, let's say release strategy let's say your account determination let's say your pricing procedure in that case you have to understand or you have to also mention how the process will work how the release strategy will trigger how the pricing procedure will trigger how the accounting determination will trigger what are the steps are there so you need to mention those kind of things okay made a, made a short short note on that one and you are good to go okay so that's all for today i believe it will be helpful for all of you who are going to prepare for the interview or who are preparing for the interview it will be helpful for you so that's it for today let's meet up again on a new session on a new class till then bye bye take care and jai hind keep learning